What's up guys, I'm Marty Blends and today we're going over the top three shavers for barbers. So if you're in the market for a brand new shaver or you're just new to barbering, here are the top three as of early 2022. Now there are a lot of different shavers out there and there's so many different variations, but it, what it truly comes down to is performance, battery life, and of course, price guys and i will also be pointing out the negatives within each shaver so let's get right into it all right guys so at number three i have one of the most affordable shavers within the list today and that is the prodigy by gamma now when it comes to performance on a shaver i mainly focus on how deep it's able to cut and the main reason i actually do like them to go very deep in the scalp is because you get better gradients when it comes to the look of the fade now for example when giving a skin fade you want to be able to go skin bald and have that scalp looking bright this way the darkness of the hair can pop and possibly turn some heads if you do tend to give out the darker and tighter fades then a shaver would definitely help you define that the prodigy by stylecraft is a really good example of what i'm talking about because it doesn't leave stubble just like other shavers out the market because don't get me wrong there are some machines that are given the title of being a shaver but in reality don't even get close to being skin bald guys at times there are some shavers that leave a slight shade of hair and that doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing if you actually got that machine used then it might be the head of the shaver and that's about it the shaver right here actually gives out 9,000 strokes per minute meaning how fast the blade shivers side to side due to the twin turbo motor inside of it. That's actually a perk for those who want to get all the stubble out the way within a matter of seconds. For it being that powerful, it's not as loud as I thought it would be, so... But it's probably the loudest out of our lineup today, so take that into consideration. Now, as for battery life, the shaver does come in at two whopping hours within a single charge, and it only takes about 30 minutes to charge, which is pretty damn nuts. And guys, keep in mind that when you're using a shaver, you're not gonna use it for a long period of time, like a clipper or perhaps a trimmer. You're only gonna use this for a matter of like some seconds or some minutes, and that's about it. You shouldn't be using this the entire cut unless you're balding someone out, but yeah, two hours is more than enough runtime for a shaver throughout the day. Now, let's say it dies on you or runs out of battery there are two unique ways to charge this little brick right here and the first one i do want to mention is this magnetic little charging kit right here which just snaps on it kind of reminds me of like a macbook charger and it actually has wireless charging i find that very innovative from gamma or stylecraft whatever you want to call them that is insane the fact that he could wirelessly charge this is a complete game changer and guys all of these do come with an extra pair of blades that way if you come into a situation like we were talking about earlier where it doesn't shave as deep then you can just switch it out with the ones that they include in the package and you're good to go the only thing and the only con i do have to say about this shaver right here is that it is made out of plastic it is entirely plastic which kind of feels cheap so if you are in the market for a shaver and you don't care on how it feels or how heavy it is then this would be perfect for you it does the job extremely well and i would say it's a definite pickup speaking of price the average price for this is $90, and if you are looking for something that won't break the bank, then definitely cop this one because it is the cheapest in our lineup today. All right, guys, that is the Prodigy by Gamma. On to the next shaver. All right, guys, at number two, I do have a shaver that was built to work, and that is the Braun Series 9. All right, now to start off, I am gonna be mentioning the price first because it does come in at a whopping 250 US dollars. But wait, before you start making all these assumptions and excuses on why a shaver shouldn't cost that much, let me get to the details. Now, as for performance, this shaver right here comes with a synchrosonic technology, which basically means it will adapt to the density of the hair you're cutting. The Braun Series 9 has a swivel head right here that adapts to the shape of the section you're cutting at, and then if you want to lock it in place, you could go ahead and do that with this huge button up front right there and then you'll have this like locking feature right there it's super cool all right guys so the real reason i have this shaver at the number two spot is because it saves you so much time as a barber basically this foil up front gets rid of all the stubble that you just shredded down and then these two trimmers get rid of every hair that was longer than the stubble it trims it all down and then finally it comes across this little foil right there so that way you don't miss out on any hair or stubble guys if you do have clients that like going completely bald then this is definitely the machine for you if you have people that want to get their beards taken off all the time definitely the machine for you guys and i almost forgot this shaver is completely waterproof so if you happen to drop it in the sink or maybe toss it in the toilet which i don't see why you would do that then you would be fine and it would completely just work perfectly oh also it's not that loud a little detail is it's not that loud and it is probably 
Yeah, I'll give it the quietest one out of all three today. Now, as for battery life, the Braun Series 9 has 90 seconds of runtime, which is not that crazy compared to the other shavers within this caliber, but you do have to take into consideration all the features it actually has and what takes up all the battery from it. The shaver also comes with its little case and something really important that I can't miss out is its little charging dock that is also a cleaning dock. So if you barbers happen to be at the shop and ran through a lot of people all day, the shaver is probably dirty. It it will let you know when it needs to be rinsed out. When you put it in its charging dock and cleaning station, it will charge and rinse out at the same time in just the click of a button. And also a cool little feature about this shaver right here is that when you turn it on, you have the battery life right there. When it comes close to dying, you actually have the 9876543321 little numbers right here, which is pretty cool. Overall, the shaver is a beast, but it does have two major flaws and I told you guys I'd be transparent. So the first one is obviously it's price for $250 this thing is worth it but I do have to say that if you're a beginner and you don't want to waste as much money into the industry or into your kit then I would probably stay away from this I would suggest you either go with number three or our next shaver that I'm about to mention the second flaw about the shaver and I wish it didn't really have this it would be the perfect shaver if it didn't have this flaw it doesn't go as deep into the scalp as the other two in this caliber do all right guys at number one i do have the workhorse of all shavers i have the flagship within all shavers in the market today and that is the babyless fx's now if you guys have been watching my channel for a while now you know that this is the only shaver i ever use and there is a reason for it it is due to the fact that there is nothing better than these and let me tell you why. As for performance, the Babyless FX is a strong compact shaver with a rotary motor. Now this is a shaver right here that will enhance the look of a skin fade so if that's what you're looking for this is definitely your machine. Guys this thing right here literally digs deep into the scalp and will leave no evidence that there was hair. Seriously it's that good. Also I don't think I mentioned the fact that these heads right here are removable as well as the other shavers in this list. All of them have removable heads that way you could switch them out and then have them be replaced. All right, now something that I've found within the Babyless FXs and the other shavers out in the market is that I don't know why, but these blades tend to last a little longer for some reason. I have no idea why. I only replace them every six months. So if you didn't know when to replace them, replace them every like six months and you should be able to go 15 heads a day with just a shaver and it didn't run out of battery. Also the sharpness within a span of six months, cutting that many people a day, it wasn't really that hard on it and it was still cutting pretty good i just happened to have gotten another shaver and that one was still good i think i actually have it around there but these things are workhorses guys honestly they truly are if you guys have ever watched any of my other videos you guys know that i always nag about plastic plastic i don't like plastic if you're gonna buy a machine i want it to feel like quality and these are a full metal body which is amazing and then the fact that they have this little metal cap you could literally toss it in your bag and just go about your day now my absolute favorite thing about this shaver right here is the fact that Babyless lets you customize the color of the shaver itself. For example, I do have their standard gold one right here as well as the silver and the rose gold. But if you did want something crazy like the orange I have right up here or something subtle with like bright accents, you could go ahead and do that. The possibilities are endless. With that being said, these are fully customizable in an app called the Custom FX app. And if you did want to shop, go ahead and download that app and use Marty 10 in order to save 10% off your entire purchase when it comes to customizing these, a the trimmer, or even the clipper. Now, the next thing I do have to touch up on is the price, and that does come in at $130 at an average price, which kind of meets in the middle within all three today. The Babyless FXs will exceed your expectations, and if you haven't given them a try yet, I would definitely say you are missing out. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video or if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're not, because a lot of you guys are not. And yeah, that's been it for me. I'm Marty Blend, and I'm out. Peace.